beauties! So today's look is inspired by Spectra Wondergeist and it's of course for my Monster High series and I'm so happy that you guys like this series so far and I've loved doing these colorful characters but I still have lots of monsters to do so please let me know down in the comment section which ones you'd like me to do uh, but now let me show you how this eye makeup looks like up close. So for this look, I've used this beautiful dark fuchsia glitter on the lid. I've filled in my eyebrows with violet eyeshadows. And then the silver underneath the brows are supposed to represent her metal chains. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and let's get started. First, I'm applying the Urban Decay Primer Potion on top of the brows. To outline the brows, I'm going to use this violet shade by Inglot in number 379. I'm starting at the inner part and simply following the natural shape of my brows. Then I'm filling them in with the same color. To darken up the outer part of the brows, I'll be using this shade, also by Inglot, in number 377. Then at the inner part, I want a lighter shade, so I'll be using this one by Sugar Pill. And in this way, I'm kind of giving my brows an ombre effect. Okay, so onto the eyes, I'm first applying a primer here as well. Now I'm going to use this black eyeshadow by Inglot in number 391. I'm first making a line from the outer part of the eye and up toward the tip of the eyebrow. Then I'm bringing the black down and back toward the eye before I use it to cut my crease. And you only want to bring it two thirds of the way in. Now I'm thickening up the black lines. To cover my lid, I'll be using this fuchsia eyeshadow by Coastal Sense in number CM08. Then I'm going to go over the black with the blackest black eyeshadow I know, which is Corrupt by Makeup Geek. I'm first using it to line my eyes, and the reason why I use the Inglot shade first is because it's easier to go in with a less pigmented black to do the outlining. As my brow bone highlight, I'll be using Inglot's eyeshadow in number 353. Along the lower lash line, I'm applying the violet shadow that I used first on my brows. Then at the outer one third, I'm using the darkest violet. I'm also winging it out along the black. All over the lid, I'm going to apply this stunning fuchsia glitter by Violet Voss called Victoria. I'm first applying the Violet Voss glitter adhesive. I'm using a tiny nail art brush to apply it precisely at the inner and outer part of the lid. I'm picking up all the glitter fallout with some regular scotch tape. I'm filling in my waterline with Inglot's black gel liner in number 77. 
and I'm setting it in place with Corrupt. Next, I'm going to use this silver cream from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm using it to draw three chains underneath the brow. And to set that in place, I'll be using Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in Mercury. Now I'm going to go in with the silver rhinestones that I bought on eBay. To make them stick, I'm as usual using eyelash glue. And I'm placing them so it looks like they're hanging down from the silver chains. For my inner corner highlight, I'll be using this silver shade from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Now I'm applying the Maybelline 1x1 mascara. For false lashes, I'll be using these ones called Temptress by House of Lashes. This is the completed eye makeup. Okay, so on to the contouring. Today I'll be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Now for blush, I'll be applying this one by The Balm called Cabana Boy and it's just a gorgeous dark rose shade. Next I'm going to highlight and for that I'll be using this shade in the middle called Incandescent Light and it's from this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And this isn't very shimmery, but it gives a beautiful glow to the skin. For my lips, I wanted to go with a color that's similar to my eyebrows. So I'll be using this bluish purple by Inglot in number 95. I hope that you liked the look and as always I've linked my entire Monster High series down below and I've also listed all the products that I've used and I've started writing down all my face makeup as well if you're wondering about that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!